Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. We are here in the Swindon County Ground, where in a stirring turn of events it is raining in England, but because it is cold, that rain is coming down as snow. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may have noticed in our heroic tie against our friends at Zenit, our team is tired. We've been playing a lot of games and we don't have a lot of players, so we're starting the B team today. We've got Bowden Bowden, whose skill level is 40, up front uh, with Voluptuous Paracard and uh, the Red Power Granger. Um, everybody in the back is not one size fits all who scored that heroic goal in the 89th minute to propel the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers to the round of eight in the Europa League is uh, not starting due to being really tired. Basically, Leroy Williamson is going to have to score. There's no two ways about it. I'm turning to Leroy Williamson. Look at him run up. Look at him run. Look at him run. And he's going to go, oh, look at him run. I would say he's unstoppable, but in fact, he's pretty easy to stop. Voluptuous Paracard is tall. Actually, I'm going to move Voluptuous Paracard into the middle, if that's okay, because I just noticed how, how tall he is. And then I'm going to put Bowden Bowden just on the outside there because he's, he's not very good. Um, no, I want Voluptuous Paracard in the, in the middle. Oh, he's in the middle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I want, I want Grange over there. That's my, uh, yeah. Bowden Bowden's a 38. He's in his current position. He may get subbed out at, at halftime, but you know, I thought I'd give him a try. I'm going to talk today about some, some movies I've seen recently and, uh, whether, whether I thought they were good because every time I talk about that, it's very controversial and you guys get mad at me for my taste in movies and think that I'm a bad person. Um, so that seems, it just seems to be going well as a subject of conversation for the Swoodly Poopers and their supporters. I saw the movie John Carter. Um, it was really good, um, but only because it was the exact opposite of the movie that I, I had been promised, um, which I thought was really fascinating marketing that um, Disney tried to make me think that I was going to be watching the worst possible version of the Jake Gyllenhaal vehicle, Prince of Persia, when in fact I was watching a really interesting um, movie that I thought was uh, really evocative and respectful to its genre. Look at Bowden Bowden going up the side. There's Leroy Williamson in the middle. Oh, the boys can't pull it off. The red power granger was there at the back post, but there wasn't enough on the... Yeah. All right. We're you know what though? We're gonna be fine. We're the Swoodly Poopers. We don't need our starters to win. We specialize in nil-nil ties. <laughs> um. Sorry that I don't score goals anymore. But you know, really, are goals the fun part of the game? No. Anyway, I thought John Carter was a really good movie, and I'm kind of I, and I, I I I kind of think that anyone who disagrees with me is wrong. Um. Not to be overly specific about it, but that is my opinion. I thought it was really smart. Um. I mean, you have to you have to be a fan of the genre, I guess, of that genre of Marsy mystical movies. Um, but I am, as it happens, a fan of that genre, so it it didn't bother me in the least. We might want to try something other than crossing in from the right. I don't know. We might want to come up with some sort of secondary strategy. Um, come on, God, Fahey, you're stronger than that. Um, and then we go voluptuous paracard, almost away. Um, so anyway, uh, I saw that. I liked it a lot. Then, then of course, there's The Hunger Games. That's what I've been waiting to talk with you about. The Hunger Games. The most hotly anticipated movie in years. I mean, it was since at least Harry Potter 8. Um, did I like The Hunger Games? I, first, let me, let me remind you that I am, today, I am most famous. The thing that I did that has, that has earned me the most attention from my peers. Oh, that had to be... Flips with Paracard over the bar. Disappointment. Um, is that I am on the back of the Hunger Games books. So every time you purchase a book, a copy of the Hunger Games, you see my name on the back of it. Um, as a trusted voice in the field of deciding whether or not the Hunger Games is a good book. I reviewed the Hunger Games in the New York Times book review uh, when the first, well, right, like the week the first book came out, you know, not knowing that it was going to be a big phenomenon and then uh, a huge movie franchise, I j but I really liked it. Um, so I, I gave it a very good review, thank goodness. Uh, otherwise, I think that my book criticism career might have been over. Um, but yeah, I really liked the book, gave it a great review, and um, um, then they were very nice to put my name on the back of it with Stephanie Meyer and Stephen King. 
Uh, so, so that has become, I guess, my greatest um, contribution to popular culture. <laughs> Um, I am a big fan of Suzanne Collins, both as a person and as a writer, not just the Hunger Games trilogy, but also the, the Gregor the Overlander stuff that she did before Hunger Games. Not to be like hipster Su Suzanne Collins fan, but I totally am. I totally, I totally was into Suzanne Collins before you were. Um, come on, boys. I need to see strength out of you, Bowden Bowden. You used to be a hero for this club. Um... By the way, I've tried to sell Bowden Bowden at every single transfer period, and nobody wants him, not even for a dollar. Um, sorry, Bowden Bowden, but it's true. I'm just, I'm just leveling with you. I'm telling you the facts. Voluptuous Paracard, though, he's strong. Look at him. He's so strong. I'm going to try, try a move. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't. Maybe it worked. Ah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn some special moves, but I'm not. You know, the problem is I'm not very good at this game. That's not a foul. Okay, it's halftime. Halftime for the Swoodley Poopers in a stirring turn of events. Not only is it raining in England, it's also nil-nil. Wow. Who would have thought it? Nil-nil at halftime. Never happens. Oh, I know that you guys are disappointed in me that I don't provide a higher quality entertainment. I'm getting to my review of the Hunger Games. Hold on. Um, Bowden, Bowden, you have to come out. You can't play anymore. You're not good enough. I'm bringing in French the Lana. But I like Voluptuous Paracard. He's tall, so I'm going to keep him out there. And um, I like everybody else who's playing. I mean, I think Leroy Williamson's doing a great job. In the 60th minute, I'm going to move Leroy Williamson into that central central attacking role because I believe that Leroy Williamson, who does score occasionally, can score occasionally. Perry Perry's uh, there. Sir Cuthbert, Sir Swoodley Pooper Cuthbert, starting in the back. He's performed heroically so far. Sir Swoodley Pooper Cuthbert um, is getting kind of into the bald the bald look, which all Swoodley Poopers seem to be into these days. It's like very calm. We have a lot of bald guys on the Swoodley Poopers. I think it's because we've just experienced so much anxiety this season that I think inevitably, great job there, Wigan. Do you guys remember how Wigan Athletic used to be our big rivals back in the early days of the, of the um, Leroy Williamson? Bringing it out from the back, doing it Leroy Williamson style over to the corner, and he's going to cut up. Oh, and he runs out of room. Um, here's my review of the Hunger Games. I haven't seen it. I was in the Netherlands, and I was on an airplane, and astonishingly, they had lots of movies on the airplane, some of which I'll talk about at, here in the second half, but um, among those movies was not The Hunger Games. I was very just great tackle there by Leroy Williamson. Leroy Williamson, he does also tackle occasionally. Um, so I, I was very disappointed not to be able to uh, see the movie, and then uh, when I was in the Netherlands, I couldn't see it because I keep, kept having to do, you know, like things for my publisher and stuff. Oh, uh, Voluptuous Paracard. Oh, Volu Oh, I tried to do a special move and it didn't work. Bowden, Bowden. Come on. Come Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Okay. So, um, I haven't seen it, but everyone says that it's good and I'm very excited to see it. But I'm not going to be able to see it until this weekend because I am a father of a child and um, he's not old enough to see The Hunger Games. <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, so I'm not going to do that to him yet. Uh, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until Saturday, and then Sarah and I are going to see it together, and we're very excited. So that's the update on The Hunger Games. I'm sure that it's good. I know that um, Suzanne liked it, so it has to be good. She wouldn't have said she liked it if it sucked. Um, anyway, I'm interested to see what you, to know what you guys thought of The Hunger Games and how, how, how the adaptation went and what... what um, what do you think constitutes a good adaptation? Um, because that's not something I know I know a lot about, and I'm thinking a lot about it because of all the Fault in Our Stars movie stuff that's going on. Um, I did see I did see several movies though while I was there um, in, on the plane on the way to the Netherlands, and then also on the way home, I saw movies both uh, two movies on each flight. Um, I saw the Justin Timberlake vehicle. I believe it's called In Time. It imagines a world in which uh, time has, is literally money. Time is, is the currency. The amount of life that you have is, is your qu kind of net worth. This movie showed a very fundamental failure to understand macroeconomics. That was my main uh, impression of it. Um, and it particularly did not understand the role that inflation plays in economics. Um, and it was a little bit infuriating for someone who is even passingly uh, familiar with the with economics. Um, that said, Justin Timberlake is very handsome, and he was shirtless twice. Uh, and then there was a girl in the movie, 
Oh, Voluptuous Pericard, he should have had it. He should have scored there. Maybe, is it? Okay, Leroy Williamson's doing the corner kick here. Stan's got a call, hold on. Stan's got a call. Oh, we're going to continue. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. And um, what else did I see? I saw a movie called Immortals that was not good. Um, I saw The Descendants, which I'd already seen. I liked it the first time. I liked it. I actually liked it more the second time. Oh, not back post enough. 82nd minute. We need to bring Leroy, Leroy Williamson to the front. It's the only way. It's the only way we can succeed. Uh, Leroy Williamson to the front. Voluptuous Pericard will be substituted out, although he performed heroically as captain, and I'm quite pleased with his overall performance. He's coming out for beef stock. And um, then we're going to resume the match, and hopefully there will be at least one stoppage of play so I can actually make that substitution. Oh, no. Oh, no, Wigan. No, you don't. No, you don't, Wigan. There you go. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how we drew it up in practice. No, Fahey. You don't give the ball away. Voluptuous Pericard does not know what it looked like. It looked like he knows what he's doing in the midfield. Um, and then I saw, I saw one other movie. Gosh, what was it? What was it? It was obviously very memorable since I saw it uh, literally in the last 24 hours, and I don't remember what it was. Burr! Oh. We just scored an own goal. Oh, I hate this game. Oh, wait, did, was that an own goal? I can't even tell. Oh, 90th minute, gave up a stupid goal. Ricardo Bunsen Berna doesn't make the save. This is like the opposite of the last game. Oh. Very upset. I don't know if that was an own goal or not, but anyway, it was. It shouldn't have happened. We know that. It should never have occurred. Oh, and then we just get our pants tackled off. It doesn't look good for the Swoodley Poopers, and we didn't necessarily take the ball out of bounds to end the game. I apologize to my friends and family, all the supporters of the Swoodley Poopers. This isn't what you came to see. Um, and I can't even remember the name of the fourth movie I saw. I'll try to remember for next time. Tell me what you want me to talk about. I'm sorry and embarrassed. Best wishes.